Hello everyone, it's your boy Cisco here and I'm here to bring you today's video. How to view Star Wars from a Christian perspective. We all know and love Star Wars. And how much more would we love it if we could see it from a Christian perspective? Now the question is, can we see it from a Christian perspective? Absolutely can. And we're going to start. I'm going to give you some points uh, that will show you how we can see Star Wars from a Christian perspective. Let's start. Number one, we are all part of something bigger than ourselves. Who would you say is the hero of Star Wars? I'm asking you right now, who's the hero of Star Wars? Who's the main protagonist? Well, you're wrong. Well, I think you're wrong. If you said Luke, well, you're part right. But we have to remember that it's not just Luke by himself. Well, you also got Princess Leia who is the leader of the resistance, or you even got the handsome, heroic Han Solo. Well, it's actually everyone. Everyone plays an important role to help overthrow the First Order. You got Han Solo, you got Luke, you got Princess Leia, you even got Dark Vader if you think about it. He was the one that defeated Palpatine. You even got Jar Jar, Jar Binks. No, no, Mr. Stan! Missy called Jar Jar Binks! Missy, you're humble! Um, Okay, maybe not him. He didn't really do nothing. Just annoy every person in the movie theater. And if you were actually happy to have Jar Jar Binks, you have to go see a psychologist. So like we were talking about, guys, how does this um, tie back to Christianity? Well, we have to see that all of these characters are fighting for something bigger. And that something bigger is to preserve galactic peace. So as Christians, you have to ask yourself, what do we fight? What is something that we fight? We fight for crisis love, so we can spread crisis love all around the world. You know, we know as Christians that we are, we make up the body of Christ. And if you guys want to go into scripture, uh, we can go to 1 Corinthians 12, 27. And it says, now we are Christ's body and individually members of it. Like it says, we are all made of Christ's body. So what does this really mean? It means that all of us play an important role in Christ's ministry. Whether you're a princess, whether you're a farmer, we as Christians are all of something bigger. And that something is Jesus Christ. Number two, guys. So we are going to be talking about the lightsaber. It's hard to imagine a Jedi without their lightsaber. Kind of like a Christian. Now, as we as Christians, what is our lightsaber? I'm going to give you guys a minute, a minute to think about it. You know, it shouldn't be too hard. That's true. I heard you over there. You said the Bible, right? Exactly. To us, our lightsaber is the Bible. Obi-Wan Kenobi described the lightsaber as an elegant weapon. A lightsaber can cut through metal, deflect booster shots, and even bring light to dark places. When armed with one of these, a Jedi is a formidable foe. Without it, there is trouble. This is just like the Bible. When we are with the Bible, we can cut through obstacles, deflect sin, and bring Jesus' light to dark places. When armed with the Bible, a Christian becomes a formidable preacher. You know, if we want to get into scripture too, we can actually go into scripture. So a lightsaber is portrayed as a weapon. And if we go to scriptures, Ephesians 6, it says that we are called up to take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And where do we find the word of God? The Bible, my friend. All right, guys, the last point. With, there's actually a lot more points that we can go into, but then the video will be too long. Uh, okay, so the last point. It's, it's never too late for redemption. At the very end of the return of the Jedi, just when it all seems that all hope is lost, that Luke was about to lose to Palpatine, something incredible happened. You guys remember what happened, right? Yeah. Darth Vader, the long-standing antagonist of the series, sacrificed himself to save his son and defeat the Emperor. Vader believed that he was too far gone to even find redemption. He had done so many terrible things, betrayed so many people. How could he ever be forgiven? 
Luke, on the other hand, never lost faith in Vader. Guys, there's a friend that you have that is a Vader right now, and you're Luke. You can't lose faith in them. You got to pray for them and hope that they can finally find their way with Jesus. Anyway, keep going. Just wanted to put that point out there. So, in fact, he believed so strongly, he was willing to pay the ultimate price for his forgiveness. There are so many people like Vader who look back on their mistakes and think it's too late. But they are wrong. It doesn't matter how far we stray or how mangled we've become. Jesus gave his life so that we could be forgiven. And then, you know, if I was to give a Bible verse, this is probably the most common Bible verse that everyone knows. John 3, 16. God doesn't need to save you. He already has. Yeah, bam. You know, I'm going to end the video with that, guys. You know, get you guys a little bit of that. But anyway, um, there's so much things that you could actually put. This isn't the only. There's so much more, um, let's say, Christian the things that tie to Star Wars, but this is just three that I found that I thought were interesting. So leave your comments below below to see what other video you you guys want me to make. This was my first video, I was a little nervous, but <laughs> it went good. Thank you guys for watching. If you stuck this long, and God bless. Take it easy.